Welcome, let's discuss the volume of a cylinder. We're going to start by considering the area of a circle in a flat surface. And now we're going to remember that the area of a circle is equivalent to pi r squared. And now we can think about a cylinder as a figure when we're stacking circles on top of each other. If we consider a certain height, then we can say that the volume of this blue cylinder, it is equivalent to the initial base, which was a circle, times how many circles we stacked up, in this case, the height. So now we have developed a formula which we can use to find the volume of a cylinder. It is the area of the base times the height. And this works for any dimensions. If we were to continue stacking more circles on top of each other, notice that the area of the base does not change. The only thing that changes, it is the height that we need to consider. And this remains true regardless of the dimension of the circle. If we consider a smaller circle on the base, all we're doing, we're just stacking smaller circles. So it is still the area of the base which is the area of a circle, times the height that we need to consider. And it does not matter how small or how big our circle is in our base. The volume will be defined the same way. Area of the base times the height. Let's take a look at one example. So we have the final formula for the volume of a cylinder. It is the area of the circle in the base by r squared times the height. But within the cylinder, we are given the height. It is equivalent to 10. Let's include the units, centimeters. So the only thing that is needed to find, it is the area of the base, the circle at the bottom of the cylinder. So we'll have pi, but notice that the radius of the circle, it is of three centimeters. So we'll have times three square, which is equivalent to nine pi centimeter square. So now that we know what is the height of the cylinder and what is the area of the base, now we can plug that information in our formula and find the volume of this cylinder. Then we'll have 9 pi times 10, which is equivalent to 90 pi. And because we're talking about volume, then it's centimeters cubed. If we want to express this answer in decimal, then let's use our graphing calculator to approximate this value, 90 times pi. So we can say that approximately the volume of this cylinder is of 282.74 centimeters cubed. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 